Getting your Squarespace site to rank in searches can seem impossible. There's so much information on the web and it is constantly changing. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through your four step SEO game plan. For those of you that are new here, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs and I provide tutorials for Squarespace, including videos on SEO, running your business on Squarespace and Squarespace code. So let's jump in. There are two types of SEO strategies that you need to be thinking about. There's the short-term SEO strategies, which is the things you can do right now on your site, such as on-page SEO and some back-end settings to get your website started on the right foot. And then there's the long-term SEO strategies, which may seem like they're not working. They take a little time to build, but really these will help your site in the long run because they will help provide consistent growth that stays about in the years to come. So your first step is more of the short-term strategies. This can all be found in Squarespace's SEO checklist. You can find this checklist in the link in my blog, or if you go onto your Squarespace site and click on marketing, SEO appearance, and then there's a link to the SEO checklist here. This checklist provides lots of things that you can do before you publish your site, after you publish your site and then as your site evolves and grows. So I suggest looking through all of those and following all of the tips and tricks that they have in this article. I want you to pay particular attention to the content best practices, which goes through things that you should keep in mind as you're adding things to your site, such as text, images, and then different ideas for your pages and collection items. So I highly suggest looking through this article and going through and making sure you have everything in here before you move on to the next three steps. Step two combines two of the top ranking factors according to First Page Sage which conducts a huge study of Google's algorithm and then publishes what they feel are the top ranking factors. And in my experience, this aligns to what a lot of other articles and SEO experts are saying about Google's algorithm ranking factors. So for step two, we're actually going to combine two of the top ranking factors, the very top ranking factor, which is a consistent publication of high quality content, along with being a niche expert, which is the fourth top one, according to first page Sage. What this means is that you want to consistently publishing new content onto your website, such as through a blog or a podcast or articles, videos, anything like that. You want to be posting new content to your site continuously, but it can't just be on anything. It has to be high quality content that is going to keep people on your site for long periods of time, which is going to communicate to Google that your site is where people want to be but it's also important that you're establishing yourself as a niche expert, which means that you're constantly posting content around a select few um, keywords or niche topics. This will establish you as a niche expert, which means that if somebody searches that keyword, you have a higher chance of your site being shown. So overall, you wanna be publishing new content that surrounds a niche, is original, has purpose and depth, so that people want to read it and want to stay on your site and hang around. Additionally, if your topic is based off trends or news and a topic that changes, you'll want to make sure that you are updating it and then republishing that page. Just make sure that you don't change the URL or else it will be seen as a new page and it will have to rebuild up that SEO juice. Step three is to increase your backlinks. Backlinks are where another website links to your website. This establishes you as a niche expert and has risen in popularity over the last year, and it is now considered one of the top ranking factors in Google. However, make sure you're getting these backlinks from other reputable websites, um, especially if they're also in your niche or around your field, then that will really help establish you as an expert um, and communicate to Google that you are somewhere that other experts are also getting their information from. To increase your backlinks, you can try guest blogging or try getting together with some other businesses in your niche and writing content together. And step four is to add keywords into your meta titles. You'll want to do some research on what keywords you want to rank for. Again, this is what your content, your consistent content is going to be around. So you want to be placing these keywords also in your page titles, your SEO titles, 
your descriptions and the titles on your page. But you want to make sure that you're not just kind of keyword stuffing and adding all these keywords in um, all over the place uh, that can actually harm your SEO. So you want to make sure that they are authentic and that you're using some good actionable words to make people want to click on your topic. Here's a great article that I found on creating meta titles. It talks about having some powerful words like creative and delight into your titles so that it is intriguing and entices people to click on your title. They also talk about sticking to a 55 character limit. So you don't want the title to be too long. You want it to be specific and concise, but obviously show um, the keywords or key phrases that you want. And then again, incorporate those power words to make it nice and interesting. And there you have it, your four-step game plan for ranking number one in Google. You're going to go through the Squarespace checklist and follow all the instructions inside of there. You're going to post high quality content within a niche. You're going to increase your backlinks. And finally, you're gonna make sure you have keywords in your meta title tags. If you're here and you're thinking, well, I've done all that and I'm still not appearing in searches how I want to be, then watch this next video where I tell you three things you can do if it feels like your SEO is not working.